So I had no idea that Kylie was still so popular and I thought I was one of the handful of people who still remembered her. But it turns out that I was wrong. Uh, the past two videos I have got so many comments and people have been so thrilled uh, to have my reactions. It's quite overwhelming. So today I'm going to listen to another song by Kylie which I had not heard before. It's called Say Something. One of you guys suggested that and I thought I'll just react to that song today. And those of you who have not seen the previous two videos of mine, do check them out. You might like them. I did search on YouTube and I did watch some other reaction videos for the same songs that I reacted to. <laughs> and it turns out that I really sucked the fun out of the song. I kind of got into an over analysis of things. But uh, guys, that's what I do. And uh, sorry to have done that. But uh, I find that very exciting. And I hope you will find that exciting too. Uh, I even pulled out my old Kylie Minogue uh, audio cassettes. This one is a hits collection of hers. It's called Ultimate Kylie. And then the album that I had, which I used to listen to a lot, Fever, I had a copy of this as well. So I'm going to play these and I'm going to listen to these once again. Talk about the previous two songs, guys. Uh, Padam Padam was very distinctly different from a lot of other songs that I had heard before. It was very dark and still it was very tappy. Now that I felt was a very unusual combination and the video definitely blew my mind. I think that's one of the best videos that I have seen lately. And uh, if we talk about tension, again, the video was really, really fascinating. Uh, no one can take that away. And uh, after a very long time, I heard someone saying la 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 so, uh, so freely and so... Uh, with such full joy that it was such a pleasure to listen to. It's very humble, it's very tappy. It, uh, it was such a pleasure listening to that song. Okay, so without any further delay, let's just listen to Say Something and see what it is like. So uh, a very distinct 80s visual here, uh, uh, she sitting on a horse and the kind of light that's happening, it's, it's something which was uh, used a lot in the late 70s I believe and in the early 80s. They used to call these special effects and it was heavily used in most of the music videos of the time. So definitely um, a reference to that time which is such a delight to watch. So uh, I love the use of the electric guitar and the bass that they are making. I think it's very distinctly 80s and it's really refreshing to listen to it. I'm also getting a feeling that the visual treatment in this song is kind of a predecessor to what we had in Tension. I, I see similar kind of elements being used uh, here which were used in a much subtle way in Tension but I definitely see uh, a reflection of those elements in the song for sure. Love is love, it never ends. Can we all be 
I like how uh, h- how these lights are turning around uh following her arms that's interesting and i love the lyrics cause love is love and we can be as one again beautiful lyrics so uh what they just did here uh that kaleidoscope effect guys it was so prevalent this thing was so prevalent <laughs> back in the 80s and uh, i have a kaleidoscope still a very basic one which is a lot of fun to play with it's got those broken pieces of glass inside and you turn it around and you see wonderful things brings back so many memories nice to see this okay very nice very groovy uh, very easy to listen to and uh, fun song definitely and i think the video was very interesting uh, i like the other two videos which i've seen padam padam and tension more but i think this kind of was setting the stage up uh, for for tension definitely because i could see a lot of stuff happening here which uh was happening again in tension and then it was put in a way that it it was actually telling a story uh, if i have missed out uh anything in this video if i have not been able to follow the story that they were trying to tell with this uh, video please 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 do let me know i would really love to know that and i was told this song was kind of revived after it was used in uh, a netflix show or something i haven't seen that show i think it was never have i ever okay guys so any other kylie songs that you would want me to listen to and react uh, do let me know i have a thing for uh, music videos which tell a story so uh, so in case you have any suggestions please let me know i would love to listen to it and share my thoughts about it and before i end this video uh, if you're still watching this video i would like to mention something about my books the part i left with you is a book that i've written it's very much available on amazon on kindle as well as in print so if you want to support me in any which way uh, please get a copy read it and let me know how you like it it'll mean a lot to me and there's another book which just went for a reprint and that's also available on kindle and amazon uh, it's called just for you both these books are very dear to me they're very light reads they're fun reads and i'm sure if you pick them up you're definitely going to enjoy all right guys so that's basically it for today and uh, until next time keep listening keep watching keep reading cheers